Assalamu alaikum everyone. Good evening. Um, my name is Judy. I am from Philippines. And I have some questions, but before that, I am born and raised from Christian family. And to be honest, I am confused about few things because I went different churches. And one of them asking for money for protection. Yes, that's my experience before the asking money <laughs> for protection. And then when they know that I'm here in Oman, I'm, that I have work here, they calling me on my social account like to give more money to so I have like too much protection but I know the protection we can um, I feel nervous sorry <laughs> wait <laughs> I really feel nervous and I know the protection comes from above from God only and also about for for the bread and wine they feeding us uh, bread they said that one is the body of the body of Jesus and also they feed us uh, like to drink this wine because they said it's the the blood of Jesus but by in my knowledge is bread is bread and wine is wine so my question is in Quran when Jesus come back he said he will kill all the pigs so I want to know if he will kill them, what will be the benefit of the world? Sorry. And why and why he created if he doesn't like them? And my second question, Sorry. how will I know Sorry, sister, that sister, I one word I didn't hear correctly. You said Jesus Christ will kill the pigs. Yes. That's what you said, no? You said Jesus Christ will kill the pigs. Yes, sister, yes, continue. The second question. And my second question, how will I know that the Islam is the truth? MashaAllah. Sister, there are two questions. Before I answer the question, she said that people were asking her protection money. And then she realized Allah is a protector. So today, you have to thank the people who asked you for protection money. Because of them, you accepted Islam. <laughs> like how I, I thank the Prime Minister of India, Modi. Because of him, I did hijrah to Malaysia. <laughs> I'm following the footsteps of the Prophet. I don't curse my Prime Minister Modi. I do dua. May Allah give him hidayah. <laughs> so sister, you have to thank the people who ask for protection. <clears throat> now coming to your coming to your two questions. Your first question was that you read that they used to give you bread and wine and then it's mentioned in the Quran you said that Jesus Christ peace be upon him and his second coming will kill the pigs sister that is mentioned in the hadith not in the Quran but the information is correct in the Sahih hadith the things of the prophet in his second coming he will come he will break the cross and kill the pig why will he do it because sister there's a misconception among the Christian world that drinking wine is good and eating pig is good in fact, if you read the Bible, the Bible clearly mentions in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, be not drunk with wine. It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, wine is a mocker. So according to the Bible, in two places it says, wine is prohibited. Yet, the Christian drink wine. Pork is prohibited in several places in the Bible. If you read, if you hear my talk, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8, as well as book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse number 4, pork is prohibited. Though it is prohibited, majority of the Muslim, majority of the Christians have pork. But we Muslims don't have. Therefore, I say, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. If Christian means following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we, Christian, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. So when Isa alayhi salam will come in his second coming, the Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5, verse 116, on that day he will say, he will ask Allah SWT, I never told them to worship me. But he said, oh, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, my Lord and your Lord. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never told them to worship. And the Quran says, in Surah Nisa, chapter number, uh, uh, Quran says, Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 
statement anywhere in the bible not a single um, unambiguous statement anywhere in the bible where jesus christ peace be upon himself say that i am god or why says worship me if any christian can show me any such words any unequivocal statement any un unambiguous statement from anywhere in the bible i dr zakir naik i'm ready to accept christianity today i'm putting i'm putting my head on the guillotine I am not speaking on the behalf of the other Muslim brothers. They may not be a student of comparative religion. So the reason Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has raised up Isa Al Salam, Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter four, verse one fifty-seven, "Wa ma qataluhu, wa ma salabuhu." They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. It was only made to appear so. Illa ti basan, and anyone who differ are full of conjectures. For they killed him not. Verse number Surah Nisa chapter four, verse one fifty-eight says, "And Allah raised him up alive." Why did Allah raise him up alive? Because he was the only messenger amongst all the messengers whose followers mistook that he claimed divinity. All the other messengers, before they died, their followers agreed that he was a messenger of God. He was the only messenger whose followers, as a whole, thought he was God, claimed divinity. So Allah raised him up alive. In his second coming, he will come to clarify the Christians he never claimed divinity. And To prove that, he will break the cross and kill the pig. Okay. He will break the cross and kill the pig. That means he wasn't crucified. Why using the cross as a symbol? And you asked, what was the reason God created the pig? You asked that question, no? so that Jesus Christ could kill him. <laughs> See, Allah has a purpose for everything. It is not. It is prohibited for us to have khanzir, the pork, but that doesn't mean that everything has a purpose. You know, normally when you go to villages, they don't have modern toilets like the one we have. When you go to villages, when you go to the call of nature, you come back, the pig goes and kills everything. It is the best scavenger that God has cre created. Scavenger. It has its purpose. Allah knew that the Christians will eat pig. Allah knew Jesus Christ would come, inshallah, and kill the pig. As a sign to show that he never claimed divinity, as a sign to show that what you are doing is wrong. Coming to a second question: How will you know that Islam is the religion of truth? Sister, you could see now the sister; they were filled with joy. People, the sisters were crying. This is. Coming from God Almighty, the main thing is, sister, that there are various reasons how a person can get convinced. Some are convinced with reason, some with logic, some hear the Adhan, they like it, some hear the Quran. There are hundreds of different reasons, but the most common reason, as you rightly said, is Tawhid. Like you rightly said, who is the one to protect Allah? Allah is the one to protect. You know, people didn't want me to come to Oman. You may have heard that. There were news media in India that Dr. Zakir Naik comes to Oman, he'll be arrested. It is Allah who is to protect. It helped. Maybe the audience is bigger. 
people are watching on the channel we won't going to show live on the channel now we are showing live on the pitch tv so that people know i'm giving a talk here it is allah of the protect and we have faith in allah and we do a homework we saw the background oman is a very good country very peaceful country they don't have fights with anyone they have their own rule alhamdulillah allah says trust in god and tie your camel we tie our camel we trust in god and i'm very happy coming here and i saw the love i'd come to it i've i'd come twice before but this time what i saw was something different mashallah the people the love the kindness and this is the beauty of islam you know people try and take advantage because of differences allah says in the quran in surah imran chapter 3 verse 103 wasimu bihablillah jamia wala tafarraqu hold strongly to the rope of allah and be not divided we muslim we are united because of the quran and because of the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we don't fight over small differences assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters here we have seen dr zakir naik has beautifully answered the sister and she is satisfied with the answer she accepted islam and prior to accepting islam when she was visiting the church they were even asking her money for protection subhanallah that's quite funny and in islam isa alay islam is considered a prophet and messenger of god and his second coming is an important event in islamic eschatology according to islamic belief when isa alay islam returns he will descend from heaven and will come to earth in the city of damascus syria he will come as a just ruler and will follow the islamic law which is known as the sharia his arrival will mark the end of the world as we know it and he will lead the final battle against the dajjal the false messiah who will be defeated by isa alay salam and his followers afterward isa alay salam will rule the world with justice and equity for a period of time during which all people will be muslim and will follow the teachings of islam he will marry have children and eventually pass away like any other human being and his grave will be in medina saudi arabia this event is significant for muslims because it is believed to be a sign of the end of times and the ultimate victory of good over evil may allah give us the true understanding of islam and may allah give us the ability to practice islam perfectly and may allah forgive all of our mistakes may allah keep us on the right path amen ya rabbal alamin please support our dawa works at www.supportdawa.com